Hi everyone, today I'm going to talk about the Finnish medical license exam for doctors who are graduate from outside the EU. Second exam or so-called the Toinant or Somaline Interverdon Hual Tokulustaru consists of three parts. One, the social lakatiada, social medical knowledge, and two, the receptiopi, how to write prescription in Finland, and three, oikos lakatiada, the forensic medicine. So one, social lakatiada, social medical knowledge is the biggest part among the three and it consists of three essays questions in the exam so basically one needs to go through the websites that deal with health issues in Finland like Valvera, Tehoel, Kela or STM however, before you panic thanks to guys like Ali Ghazi or David who made us like summary for Ali Ghazi he made files that summarize all the information found in these websites and put it uh, in that PDF file while he was preparing for his own exam. David Arandena brought all the questions from the previous exams up until when he did his, ex his own exam and put their answers together in a PDF file also. These two files are extremely important, they are incredible, the guys put great effort in there and it's very useful for everyone who wants to do that exam. On my behalf, I thank them very much for their help. However, these files are very summarized in the exam, they want you to explain a lot more. So if you have time, I highly recommend that you could go through some websites like the ones that I mentioned above and check the information there. Second part of the exam is Receptiopi. It's basically how you could write a prescription in Finland. So it consists of three, three questions in the exam. First question is essay questions. And second question is the Latin terms that are used in writing prescription in Finland. You should know them all by heart. And third part is example or task is that you have to give this medicine to this uh, patient in this dosage for this time. So you have to write it in the official prescription form in Finland. Uh, David also made a nice file about that. I highly recommend that you study from that file. They tend to get new terms every year. So you also need to check these terms maybe on Google. The third part is Oikos Lakatiada, Forensic Medicine. And there is a nice book about that, like Rexis Amen, it's called Oikos Lakatiada. I studied that book until page 32. Uh, plus I studied about uh, gunshot as well. And uh, there is another file also called Receptiopi and Oikos Lakatiada. I studied from that too. That exam comes in an MCQ question form, multiple choice question. So to summarize, for Receptiopi and Oikos Lakatiada, I think the files and sources I mentioned above are very enough. For Sociali Lakatiada, I mentioned the sources that I studied, but they tend to change the form of questions every year. So it would be great if you take a look on the official websites in Finland. All the files that I mentioned in this video could be found in the great group of Lacarexis Women. Thanks for all the admins there who made this great group. And you could find them also in the link below in this video. Previous year's questions are very important. You definitely have to go through them and you have to study them very well. For Oikos Lacatiede, unfortunately in the exam they don't give us the questions. They take the question paper back, so there is no sources for that. One more question I was asked is how long time did I study for the exam? Well, for me, I studied for one month while I was working at the hospital. So I had relatively short time after work and I passed, thankfully, all the three parts. I did them together. But for you guys, if you have more time, I highly recommend to study more time for just to give yourself more assurance that you're passing. I studied for the social Lakatiade more time than the other two parts together. That's about the second exam and I hope you find the information in this video useful and I wish you all the best guys and I wish you all to pass.